Edinburgh. The declaration of our growth is 700 years old today. The document was supposed to be on display at the National Museum right now, but that and a festival of celebration in our growth have both been put on hold because of coronavirus. Before the pandemic took hold, our correspondent Glenn Campbell got special permission to take a look at this Scottish icon. Arbroath Abbey is where it is thought this stirring declaration was composed during Scotland's medieval wars of independence with England. It is in truth not for glory, nor riches, nor honours that we are fighting, but for freedom, for that alone, which no honest man gives up, but with life itself. It was written here in 1320, when Robert the Bruce was King of Scots. And whilst this place has crumbled over the centuries, the stature of the Declaration has only grown, so that now it is easily the most famous document in Scottish history. This fragile sheepskin parchment is the only surviving copy, carefully preserved by the National Records of Scotland. It's an appeal to the Pope from the earls and barons of the time who endorsed it with wax seals. It sets out really powerfully and eloquently why Robert Bruce regarded Scotland as an independent kingdom and ends really powerfully with a, a plea to the Pope. It essentially threatens the Pope and says that um, if he doesn't help intervene, um, blood will be on his hands. It's only in the past century that the Arbroath letter's been celebrated with pageants like this and become known as a declaration. In Arbroath before coronavirus, this choir was rehearsing for a 700th anniversary festival. That'll now be held next year, when the declaration turns 701. Glenn Campbell reporting Scotland, our broth. Before the weather, back briefly to the coronavirus environment.